Hi, I am Victoria White, and my husband and I are happy owners of a number of Natural Action Technologies water structuring devices. This is one of them. This is actually uh, what would be considered a whole house size unit. This is the large garden unit, and you can see it has hose fittings on either side for fitting onto uh, just a regular hose thread, or it can be used for an RV. So it has many applications. So what I'd like to talk about today is what structured water has done for us in our life, in our lives. And to begin with, uh, just a very brief um, idea of what structured water is, the natural action structured water. Um, structured water is water in nature. It is living water. Um, it's full of life force energy, which has been called biophotonic energy as well as uh, chi or prana it's it's got a light to it it can actually be be measured so oh and here our jacuzzi is turning on <laughs> it goes on a regular cycle every every day so the reason i'm sitting here in this jacuzzi is to show you that our jacuzzi is being uh it has the structured water unit on it and it, the structured water is circulating through it every day when this automatically turns on during its normal cycle. And so we never, since we have put the structuring device on this, have never put any chemicals in our jacuzzi. And you can see that the water is clean, it's clear, it looks like it was just filled. The water, we probably changed it about six weeks ago. Uh, and it's just as nice today as it was six weeks ago. We have had this spa for about at least 10 years and we have always had trouble trying to keep it clean. Uh, we never wanted to use chlorine so we tried all different kinds of things. Uh, I think there's a bromide something that you can put in here and I didn't like the smell of that. It still smelled like it had chemicals in it. And then we used hydrogen peroxide, very strong, like 35% which is hard to find to begin with, but if you can get it, uh, it what we found happened is that it would eat up the seals, um, any kind of rubber seals we had, we would start having it leak. So uh, the hydrogen peroxide would only last for a period of time, it was expensive, and it, it didn't keep the water clean. So you still had to use it every time you got in the jacuzzi. This jacuzzi we've used every day, and it's still nice and clean. Um, and Another thing that I noticed with it is you can see the bottom of our jacuzzi cover. In the past, we would have had like kind of a mildew growing on here, and you would also get a kind of musty smell from the water, and the water would be kind of uh, not clear. It'd be like a whitish, uh, kind of cloudy color. And so you can see it's totally nice and clean. There's nothing growing on there. The water smells fresh and clean. So. Anyway, wanted to show you that. Uh, we also have been using these portable units, and this is the original. There are two different kinds of units. There's the original model. Uh, this is what we started using. Uh, it has white balls in it. All of the units we had around our house were this unit for the last four, it's been over four years, maybe four and a half years that we've been using the water structuring devices. And then in August of 2012, the new dynamically enhanced unit came out. So they look exactly the same from the outside, but you can see there's white balls in the original model, and there are gray balls, like a charcoal gray, in the dynamically enhanced. And the only difference is that embedded in the flow form of the dynamically enhanced are all natural materials, um, mother nature materials from around the world, many of which are rare, hard to come by, and they have been embedded into the flow form. And they add uh, energy to it. Uh, synergistically works well with the structuring that happens naturally through the uh, vortexing. There's a double vortexing that happens at the simultaneously, and the water uh, through physics gets structured, but then it also basically gets amplified having the uh, dynamically enhanced uh, materials in there. So they're both very good units. The one that is on our jacuzzi is the original model. So it has the white balls within it. And as you can see, it works totally fine. 
for us. And I, after four plus years of having this on our jacuzzi, I continue to be amazed that our water stays as nice and clean as it does, knowing that what we went through. I would rarely even get in the jacuzzi before because I just felt like I was in a cesspool of mold whenever I tried to get in it. And uh, so now it's really wonderful that we can get in it anytime we want and know that it's going to be clean. And basically the only reason my husband ever cleans it is we do tend to track uh, sand in it and, and he just wants to clean out the filter and then refill it again. So uh, otherwise there would be no reason the water doesn't get dirty. There's no reason to have to, to change it. I'm just going to tell our story about how we came upon this technology. Uh, we were living in Colorado and we had a neighbor who happened to have a shower unit. We were preparing our house to sell before we moved to Tucson, which is where we are now, and he was preparing his house to sell, and so we were all, we were both working on projects. His was painting the outside of his log cabin with very toxic oil-based stain, and he had a respirator on and was fully protected. However, he felt that he had, uh, he was still getting all the chemicals on his face, and, and it really affected him. And so when he got done with doing this project for the day, he went into his shower, which had the original model shower unit on it, and he sat under the water for about 10 minutes, and he said he could feel the, the stain and the chemicals just floating off his face. It was like it, the water was taking it away and melting all of that off, all the chemicals, to where after about 10 minutes, he said he felt like he had just woken up fresh ready to start his day. He didn't have any burning sensation on his skin anymore. And it, he was totally different energetically. And so he tells me this and I, I knew him for 10 years, probably we were neighbors and, and I trusted him and I just said, tell me how I can get one of these. I want to order one. So uh, it was a great testimonial and, and I immediately placed an order. So we ended up getting a whole house unit and uh, we started out with that and some garden units. So one of the things as far as having a whole house unit is it is recommended that when you put the unit on your house you empty out the hot water heater because that tends to be a place where you can get uh, hard water deposits building up and that will just clear them out so that they don't have to get dissolved and then come out the faucet. So I was told that that might happen if we were to put the unit on without cleaning it out and it was very hard to get to where our hot water heater is. So we just went ahead and put the whole house unit on and left the hot water heater as it was. And Clayton Nolte, who is the inventor of these units, uh, he said if, if you don't switch out the hot, or if you don't switch out the water in the hot water heater, uh, you may end up smelling like an off smell every time you turn on the hot water for about a month. And that's exactly what happened. Every time we turned it on, we could smell that. Um, but after about a month, it did subside. And then about a year later, we had a handyman come out to do some work and he happened to be in the hot water heater closet and he was able to get easy access to it. So we asked him at that point to just empty it out for us, even though it was a year later and see if there was anything in there. Well, he did and, he, and I said, well, how bad was it? And he said it was totally clean. So, which I would have expected because the, there wasn't any bad smell after about a month and, and that's exactly what Clayton said would happen and that's what happened. So um, it did what, it, what he had told me it was going to do. So that was pretty amazing to me that it did that. And then over uh, the time that we had it, our dishes started getting cleaner and not having the hard water spots on them that they had previously. And then in August of 2012, we switched out our original whole house unit for the dynamically enhanced whole house unit and our dishes got even cleaner. Now they just totally sparkle. It's amazing. So uh, that's just one of the things. So then we have our gardens. We do a lot of gardening here and we live in a pretty harsh environment in the Sonoran Desert where it gets really cold in the winter time and it gets really hot in the summertime. And we had gone in, we had moved out here and uh, one of the first things we did was our neighbors had all gone in on a whole bunch of fruit trees and bare root trees that we got from a nursery. 
and so there were lots of ten of all different varieties and so we would split them all up and put different trees on different people's properties and and so they all started with basically we are all pulling from the same water we have a shared uh, aquifer and well that we draw upon and we are all in the same soil same conditions uh, we planted them all at the same time and what we noticed was after a year of ours being in the ground we got tons of fruit and our neighbors I don't know if they even got any fruit at all to be honest uh, some of their trees have died at that point but I really attributed a lot of it to the fact we were using the structured water and uh, the trees didn't go into the kind of stress that they would have gone into otherwise in the severe heat of the Sonoran Desert summer, 107 degrees for months on end. And, and uh, one of the things that the structured water does is it helps the plants to absorb nutrients as well as the water be hydrated more efficiently. So less water is required, uh, about 30% less is required when you use structured water. So they're not requiring as much, but they're also uptaking a lot more efficiently and they're not going into stress as easily as they would otherwise. So this was indicated also by just looking at the plants and seeing in the summertime that they, they looked like they were, the leaves were all plump and healthy and they weren't shriveled and showing signs of stress. And, and so when the tree has what it needs, it is happy to produce fruit. So in the winter time too, what happens with structured water is it, lowers the freezing point. So the trees don't go into stress as easily with the cold temperatures, just like the hot temperatures don't affect them as much. So these are my reasons for why we probably, one of the reasons why um, we got such a difference in the production of our trees compared to our neighbors. And so another thing that I noticed is I do a lot of gardening and I have a business that requires me to be outside a lot and I can't just blow off four or five months out of the year and not get anything done just because it's so hot outside. But one thing I noticed is I was able to work for long periods of time outside when it was like 107 degrees, 104 degrees, uh, under conditions that many people cannot tolerate for very long because you can end up with heat stroke and, and uh, a number of issues related to the temperatures. But what I believe was going on is the structured water was keeping me hydrated all the time. So I was feeling comfortable and just drinking a lot of water and allowing the hydration to uh, do its thing so that I could continue working and doing what I needed to do. So, and I've heard this from other people too out here uh, in Arizona that, that they were amazed that they were able to uh, sustain, you know, working outside for as long as they did under conditions that they know that in the past they would not have been able to do. Um, so, and then the other thing is my skin feels nice and soft and I just definitely notice feeling hydrated and having that vitality that being hydrated does for your entire body. You know, we're what, 70, 80% water, and we need water, we need hydration in order for every body process we have to work properly and efficiently. So I do believe that it, it is definitely a foundation for everything else you do, and it helps to absorb all the other things that you're doing. If you're eating healthy and you're, you're getting good nutrients, uh, the water will help them to, the structured water will help them to absorb better into your body. And one of the things with this structured water is that in order for water to enter your cells, it needs to be under 46 dynes per cubic inch, cubic centimeter, I believe it is. And this is under that 43, 44, 45. So the water can instantly hydrate you. We go down to Mexico frequently and we have stayed at friends' houses that would normally have anybody who goes down there brings or buys bottled water and we've never bought bottled water in Mexico we will structure our water down there and I think we were probably down there 30 40 days last year I don't know altogether and 
uh, the water was tasted great and it was structured and we never got sick and uh, you know I really believe in this technology so they definitely tell you don't drink the water in Mexico Montezuma's revenge but that's never happened to us so and I do have friends who go other places and have used it in uh, places that do not have clean water and they have been just as as healthy doing that so when we travel we take the port of, we've actually taken this to Mexico also uh, because this is easy to hook up to a uh, hose easily um, but we have also used this I've actually it depends on the taste of the water if I choose to use anything in addition I have drank water directly out of the tap um, Mexican water with this uh, if the water still has like an off taste a little bit like it's high in minerals or has hardness um, I don't hesitate to put it through a filter and then filter it through this one of the things that this does that filters will not do RO won't do distilled won't do is it erases the negative memory in water and if anybody is familiar with homeopathy they know that uh, you can put vibration into water and that it can be good or it can be bad and and so when water goes through this it will erase all of that so even when you distill your water or you use our RO water uh, it doesn't erase you can have all the physical stuff taken out but it won't erase the memory so even if you were to use another water process I would tell anybody to do this at the very end because this will enhance uh, whatever else you're doing what you can do with this is you don't have to hook it up to anything. Uh, this will this is a funnel, built-in funnel. So you can put it. You can either have a cup of juice or tea or any kind of liquid. You don't even have to structure water in it. You can structure everything else, and you would simply pour it in. And in a faucet, you can just put it underneath the faucet and have it go down. You can even structure if you didn't have one of these on your hot tub or on your on your tub your bathtub you can use a portable unit in the water and you can move it back and forth like this and structure the water you don't have to structure all of the water in the tub to have it structured the rest will entrain to the structuring uh, and it's the way I like to describe it is it's like tuning forks if you were to um, sound a tuning fork and you bring another tuning fork like say this is another tuning fork you bring it close by it will start resonating along with the other tuning fork so that's how I describe what happens with the entrainment is it makes all the rest of the water entrained to that uh, there's also a field effect that is caused by this and an interesting thing happened to one of my customers where she had a shower unit on one of her showers at one end of the house and then the, she had another bathtub bathroom toilet at the other end of the house and she actually watched that descale just by having a unit on at the other part of the house so the water wasn't actually going on to it from through the unit itself but through entrainment and the field effect it did descale her bathtub on the other side of the house so that was pretty amazing but yes we do use this to structure other kind of liquids and uh, there's other things you can do with it. I mean, you can use it if you didn't have any other unit but the portable unit. You can put it on the end of a hose. You don't have to have a unit that has the, the hose threads on it, but you'd have to be there to hold it. You would just put it up against this and have water come through and you can water your plants outside if you wanted to. Uh, there are people who will take a cup of water from this and put it in their radiator overflow in their car and make the radiator work more efficiently and the car work more efficiently and increase their gas mileage is another thing you can do with it so um, there are a number of things even I've heard that people have used this particular unit the dynamically enhanced portable unit as a healing device it has a static energy about it before you even put the water through it and uh, due to the proprietary materials that are in the flow form devices so if you wanted to do something you could take you could take this and you could simply put it on any point on your body and even better than that you can take it you can put water in it and put it on a point in your body and you can take like a laser 
uh, pointer like you might use in a presentation like a red pointer and beam it into this water and beam it onto your body wherever you might have um, an issue and if you're familiar with acupressure points uh, you can put it on those points to stimulate give more energy to that uh, meridian and we will do this sometimes too we'll bring one of these units or both of these units in the jacuzzi and we have the jets going and if we have something going on an ache a pain or whatever we will put this up against the water uh, jet and it will be uh, putting extra structured water onto whatever our feet or our knees or whatever point we want to do it so it's a little added um, I don't know benefit to, to doing that okay and one more thing I wanted to mention about these this particular structured water is that it will energetically neutralize anything that is unhealthy any toxins any contaminants in the water and it will energetically enhance uh, those things that are healthy and we have there's a German uh, lab that did a, a test that shows how that works and that's on our website uh, biophotonicwater.com you can look at that in more detail uh, that shows energetically in physics how the bond angle changes and all of that so I just wanted to mention that too